In this video you will learn such decorators inside Angular like optional, self, skip self and host. And here I already prepared for us a small project. First of all I have an app component where I am rendering component parent. Let's look on the parent. This is just an empty component and inside HTML I am rendering div parent and the child. And what is child? This is just one word child and an empty component with empty engine in it. And also here I have a user service. This is exactly the service with which we will test everything. So first of all, let's start with the optional. Let's say that our child component really needs to use our user service. Typically we are writing it like this, we have a constructor and we are registering here our property users service, which is coming from users service. And after this I will write inside our engineit console log key and here will be this dot user service dot users key. As you can see in browser we are getting an error, no provider for user service. And typically we are solving it by adding to our module, for example app module, this provider. So we are providing it here inside user service and we don't get an error. But we can do it differently. We can remove here user service from our module and we can say that this service for us is optional. This is why here inside our constructor we can write before word private add optional and round brackets and we are importing it from Angular core. In this case here this user service is optional and we are not getting an error here regarding our user service which was not injected property because we said it can be optional. But here we obviously are getting an error reading user's key property of null because this user service in this case is null and if we are trying to read user's key it makes a lot of sense to put here a question mark and maybe render another string here. As you can see here we are getting inside our console key not set because this service is not there and user's key is not available for us. So this was an optional decorator. Now let's talk about self decorator and in order to do that I want to change this optional to self and auto import it from angular core. As you can see here we are getting an error no provider for user service just like we had previously. But now let's try to add inside our app module this provider. We are writing here user service and as you can see in browser this error is still there. Why it is happening? In order to understand this you must understand how this injector inside Angular is working. And actually first of all Angular checks all providers inside our component. We don't have here any providers. Then it is going to the parent component and checks providers here. They are also not there. And then it goes to app module and it takes this provider from here. This is exactly how it works from the start. But here now we wrote this self and it means that we must provide our provider, our service inside this component directly. We won't traverse until app module to find our provider. What does it mean? Here we must define our providers and we must put inside our user service. In this case here we are not getting an error and we are getting here key users, which actually means self means that we must inject a provider on the level of this specific current component. Providing it in the parent or inside a module won't work. Now let's talk about skip self. So here I want to change self to skip self and I'm hitting here enter. And as you can see we didn't get an error. Why is that? Because actually this provider will be skipped, you can understand it from the name, but providers in the parent and inside app module are not skipped. And actually the provider inside app module is still there. If I will remove it from our app module, then we will get an error because there is no provider inside parent or inside app module, which actually means skip self means that we should not have a provider inside our component, we must have it on another levels. And the last one here and the most interesting is the host. We can write here at host and just save it. And as you can see here we have a provider inside our component and I don't have a provider anymore inside our app module, which actually means this is the only place where we have this provider. And as you can see here it works and we don't get an error. 
But what will happen if I will remove providers from here and try to write it inside our app module? So here I'm defining user service. And as you can see, we're getting here an error. Why it happens? Because actually host means that we can read providers only from the components which are available for us inside the view even not in our parent or app module, but inside the view. Inside our view, we have this parent component and then child component, which actually means when we register it inside child component, it works. You could see it here. So providers and we're providing our user service, we don't get an error. But if we will try to write it inside our parent, it won't work. But actually I said that it will, why it won't? We're providing here our providers and here is our user service and it doesn't work but actually it is but not through providers i said that host is responsible for our view this is why here we should not use providers but we have such thing which is called view providers this is exactly what host is checking if we have here view providers and we're providing here user service we won't get an error Let's check this out. Inside a module, I don't have a provider. Inside child, I don't have a provider. But we are not getting an error because we provided it inside our parent with view providers, which actually means we are using for our child host. And then it means that we must have a provider inside one of the components of our view. But here are some closing thoughts from me. If you want to make your application more understandable, you don't need to introduce additional complexity. And it is really nice that Angular is so configurable and we can inject providers on different levels. But realistically, you can build applications just by providing your providers either inside root or inside module where you need it. It is not necessary that often to use optional host self or skip self. You can use providers without it and you will be totally fine. And actually, if you're interested to know how to improve Angular performance by using ng-zone, make sure to check this video also.